Guys, these carrot cake Oreos are life changing. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole and you're watching Nick Ink Artistry. And today I'm back with another challenge video. A couple months ago I did the 15 minute makeup challenge, which you can find above. And today I'm here with the LED lights makeup challenge. And here I am skipping ahead. If you couldn't tell, we do have a little bit of a different background, but I just got these new LED lights that change into like any color. I have them above my bed and it's so fun to like almost match the lights with your mood. But with this challenge, we're gonna be getting ready with extreme like neon. That's the only color you see. And I love this challenge when Nikki Tutorials and James Charles both did them on their channels and I'll link those videos down below. And I feel like the hardest part will probably just be the eye makeup. Although James, when he did his, it looked like a mess in the different lights, but then he turned on and it was gorgeous. So maybe we'll get a little lucky. I'm using some palettes that I really don't use very often. I purposely didn't even look at them yet because I don't have these palettes like memorized or anything. So it will probably be more random. But without further ado, let's jump right on into this challenge because I'm so scared. But here we go. All right, so obviously, if this is hurting your eyes, it is hurting mine probably 10 times worse. I think I already have a headache. So this is definitely gonna be difficult. Um, Like I said, I cannot see any other color in my room around me. It's literally all a shade of red. I'm scared. <laughs> We're gonna jump right on into this before I instantly regret it. But I did wanna try out some newer products with this video too because why not throw a little bit of an extra challenge in there? But I think I have like four products I'm gonna incorporate. They're from August BoxyCharm as we're a week away from going into September. But in my box this month, I got the Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. So it's basically just a moisturizer. Nothing crazy about that. It doesn't smell like anything and it feels like weightless. So I guess that's good. Actually, it feels almost like not greasy, but definitely like oily and like serum-y. I only used a little bit, so I think it'll be good under my makeup. It might actually help. It's nighttime when I'm currently filming this, like literally the sun just set. So I don't need to ensure my makeup all day or anything like that. I literally had to wait till nighttime to film this because my window just kept putting too much light in the room and you could still see color like it wasn't fully as dramatically red as it is right now. But the moisturizer is fun. I'll keep using it. Um, I love Glam Glow because it's like a bougie brand. It's good for you. So I'm like, ooh, love that. Almost feels like sunscreen, which I don't think it has SPF in it. But anyway, moving on just into concealer and all that stuff. And this I feel like might not be that hard. Like this might be the easiest part of this challenge, like the face stuff going on. So I'm just taking my Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics under there. I mean, you definitely can't tell, I guess, that you're doing anything. So there is that. Actually, no, it's definitely covering. My dark circles are so dark, so I can tell that much. But the rest of my skin looks almost perfect right now just because you can't obviously see any redness or any of that kind of stuff. So this is really interesting. All right, so I think we're all covered. Not too sure here. Guys, I'm literally getting a migraine from these lights. And I'm literally just setting my face with my airspun powder. Nothing too crazy. Hopefully not somewhere I could really go wrong. I'm definitely over blending because I don't want to not blend enough. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm just going to do my blush right now. I'm just using this little City Color cheek palette. It literally is like three different shades. So I'm just going to kind of mix them because I kind of already know what they are. But with blush, I feel like the only thing you just could apply too much. We will see. I don't know. I mean, like literally, I don't know if I put any on. So this is uh, interesting. All right, so pretty much we're moving right on into the eyes. And like I said, I picked eyeshadow palettes that I haven't picked up in a while. So I don't really remember what they look like in full or I can really remember like where the shades are. So the first one, oh my gosh, this one looks so bizarre and like not like it at all. But this is the Mini Controversy by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This was his collab with Shane Dawson. I love the full conspiracy palette, but this mini one, you literally cannot tell the color story at all right now, but it definitely is a weird one. It's not my favorite. Honestly, I almost like it better in this lighting, which is kind of funny. It's almost like more like autumn or like muted tones. So yeah, definitely doesn't look anything like that in real life. So that'll be really interesting considering I don't love the shades that are already in here. And then here from ColourPop, we have the So Jaded palette, which this literally looks like an all nude palette. Almost looks like black blue over here, which I think there are blues in that corner. I'm honestly not even sure. And today I'm using this little pack of Morphe brushes, but this is the little I Got This. It's a four piece eye brush collection. Once again, got this in my BoxyCharm. And it looks like it pretty much just comes with like a crease brush, a smaller little defining brush, 
eyeliner and a little packing brush so that's exciting so I'm gonna be using these with my eyeshadow look today so of course I'm gonna use this fluffy blending brush it's not as fluffy as I usually like them and honestly this brush she's cheap she feels cheap I mean the brush hair feels nice but the handle that's all right we're gonna jump right on in I think I'm gonna jump into the shade cry on my couch from the Jeffree Star palette and I'm gonna put this all over my lid just to set my eye I literally have no idea what color this is so this could be a really great idea or could not I mean it literally looks like a neutral shade in here now I think I'm gonna dip into the shade Amatrine first from the so jaded so I literally once again don't know at all what this color is so this is interesting I'm gonna start stamping all right it's looking dark so that's great <laughs> I'm gonna stamp this on the outer corner and take a really good time blending this like I don't know if you guys can tell but this is patch city over here but I don't know if it's a me the brush the shadow the lighting combination of all of the above I don't know so we're just gonna do the same on the other eye see if it comes out any different and of course I'm just carrying that underneath on my lower lash line as well so hopefully that can help pull the look together in the end if we mess this up which I'm sure because this is looking so rough although actually I mean, it's looking just red. I mean, it's not looking too bad, but the blending. Maybe let's go back in with the aquamarine like I said I was going to. Okay, literally, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but my aquamarine color won't even swatch. Or maybe it is, but it just like literally won't even show up. So this is interesting also. I guess I'm going to try to pack it on here. We're going to try to make it work. Kind of unlike the middle, but like the outer middle of the lid. I'm just packing it because it's supposed to be like a shimmer. But I also don't know if it's showing up. I mean... It, it's a little shimmery on the lid, but I can't really tell anything right now. So I'm going to go back in with that Amatrine shade just a little bit just to kind of intermix. Make sure it's like a little blended with the other one, that kind of stuff. Make sure my edges are blended because if that's the only thing that we have going for us, I would take that. And honestly, I think the Nikki and James both did a cut crease with their look. So I think I'm going to also attempt one because I've been loving doing them recently. So let's throw that into the mix as well. All right, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there is a cut crease there. That was honestly really easy to just throw on, but I just can't tell if it's a good cut crease or not. It could honestly be really sloppy and I have no clue, but oh my gosh. So our next brush in here is like this really tiny little crease brush. I've never had one of these, but I've always wanted one. So I'm really excited. These are probably pretty cheap brushes because Morphe is very affordable. But anyway, we're going to use this and kind of go just right over the cut crease part just to define it a little bit make that darker at that line so i think i'm gonna take the shade garnet and amethyst which amethyst is definitely purple and garnet i feel like i should know i feel like that would be like a purple or like a red or something so hopefully that goes but i'm just gonna go like right over that little line like i said and kind of define it a little bit more and kind of connect that more back in with the crease and then again we're just gonna bring it under the lash line so i kind of just want this being like the very outer edges as like hopefully like a purple hue or something. I mean, and honestly, for the most part, I feel like now everything looks super blended, but I just have a huge feeling that it is just not gonna be blended. So I really have no clue. Now I think for the shimmer on my lid, I'm gonna go in with my boyfriend's purse from the Jeffree Star palette. I really don't know which one this is though. I feel like it's that light shade. But I don't know if it's like that gray light shade. Okay, we're just gonna go in with it and then we can layer on top. Okay, cute, I think. I mean, honestly, we look really blended and real good right now. So I think maybe the shade Stoned and a little bit of Turquoise, because like I said, I'm pretty sure we already have some blue going on. So maybe let's try to tie that in there. But I'm just gonna start putting that on my lash line and we'll smoke it out a little bit also. And I did kind of wing that out. I've actually been living for a little wing, which is kind of fun and new to me. All right, and I think I'm gonna throw the shade Opal on top of my lid 
now that I'm feeling it, I realize that this was one of the pressed glitters, which it doesn't even look like pressed glitter on the pan. I'm like, yeah, it looks glittery, but... But honestly, we're gonna go with it because glitter saves the day and it might need to save our day today. So we're just gonna throw that on there. So any help we can get today would be nice. <laughs> and lastly, for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna throw on the shade My Precious from the Kathleen Lights So Jada Palette just on my inner corners. And I think this is like a white, I mean, it's bright right now, showing up on my eyes, so I hope it's white or something like that. All right, so I'm just gonna throw some mascara on. All right, guys, and I totally forgot I had a new bronzer that I wanted to try. Once again, for my BoxyCharm, this is from the brand Aesthetica. Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer. Never heard of this brand, it looks fun. Okay, so looks red. That's promising. I'm just gonna take my big fluffy blending brush and we're gonna go in. That is all I want to do just in case. Oh, and I didn't even highlight, so I'm gonna just take my highlighting brush and I'll just go back into that My Precious shade that I use for the inner corners just as a highlight as well. Hope that doesn't backfire. All right, and I do have a new brow product, which once again, did not even look at the shade of this because I didn't want to cheat. So this could either just be bad because it's just the wrong shade or what. But this, once again, is from the BoxyCharm. This is a Real Her I Am Inspiring Definer Brow Pencil. And I don't think it has a shade on here. All right, so she is a sleek. I've been looking for a new sleek brow pencil. So I really hope that this works out. It does have a little spoolie on the end, which is great. Always needed. I mean, it doesn't look too dark, but not too light. So I'm just gonna go really light-handed with this. And start filling in my brows. So here we go. I feel like I'm not even like applying any pressure and it's really showing up. So that's good, I think. Or maybe it just is dark. I literally will not even know. All right, so that was definitely quick and easy. I feel like I need a really thin brow pencil. So hopefully this actually works out. I'm just gonna set my brows with some clear brow gel. And now all that's left is a lip. So here I literally just have a basket of all my lip products. So I'm pretty much just gonna kind of dig in here and grab a random one, cause they all look the same right now. So here we go. So I'm gonna do this gloss, cause I just found it in the bottom. It looks like a light pink. So we're gonna do this. I don't even wanna look <laughs> at myself in the mirror yet. I'm like not ready. Honestly, like it looks really good. Like very low key, I would wear this as of right now. All right guys, so this is it. We are literally done. So I guess this is time for the big reveal. So here we go. I'm gonna turn on my lights and we're gonna see what kind of mess I got myself into. Okay, I'm literally not even looking. I'm so scared right now. I'm literally scared while I need some water. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, honey, I had plenty of blush. Oh. Ooh, hold up though. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so funny. I feel like low key, this could have been worse. This could have been worse. Could have been better, but oh my gosh. So yeah, way too much blush and a bronzer, I would say. I would say we really went overboard on that. But this eye look is actually not bad the color scheme i'm actually living for it so honestly if i tone down the blush and the bronzer a little bit because i look like a clown i feel like this is actually fun let me know what you guys think about it if you can tell it's almost like a minty green gray we got some glitter we got some burgundy like pink this is almost a vibe with this like teal liner the only thing like i suspected that highlighter my precious shade it was definitely matte and it did nothing for my inner corner. Honestly, I'm blown away. Like, I really didn't even think it would come out like this. I feel like I would wear this look out in public. The only thing I would tweak is just a different shade on my inner corner. I'm not even kidding. I would literally go out like this. And even the lip, I feel like the lip isn't even that bad with this. How... I cannot even get over this. Oh my gosh. And of course, let me know down below, did I rock this challenge or... Did I not? Because I can't tell. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And of course, if you liked this video and if you wanna see more challenge videos like this, give this video a huge thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe down to my channel below. I'm here with a new video every Friday, but of course I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.